camera, Josh. What's up? How you doing? Doing all right. Good morning, YouTube. This is Josh and Hello, Josh's 360. What year is it? It's an 01. 01. It's really, 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 really common on 360s and 430s for the fuel pumps to go bad. They seem to last about 10, 12, 15 years and then they go to crap. I'm sure these are probably the originals, so they're, you know, 20 ish years old. We got new fuel pumps, and yes, this video is sponsored by Recambi America, so go visit recambiamerica.com, use the code NGS, get 10% off. We're gonna change out the fuel pumps, so it's not terribly hard, but you gotta be a little extra careful. So that definitely got you guys at 106. So we do have the fire extinguisher since we're gonna be playing with fuel stuff. It's probably a good idea. And oh, here's, here's the fuel pumps. There is actually a different fuel pump for the left and right. The left one has the float switch fuel sender to tell you your fuel level. And of course, then there's some gases. So the part number for the left hand side on a 360 coupe. Note that you have to have a different one for the coupe versus the convertible. So it's 239813. The right hand one is 239814. And then you're going to need the gasket 170946. And you need two of these, obviously. First of all, the fuel pumps are underneath these little side panels, so we'll pull those off. All the way up yeah, they're the way front. up in the front, which is going to be a little bit kind of a pain in the ass to get to, but not terrible. They kind of fail in two ways. One is the actual pump itself can start failing and making weird noises eventually stop. But also, there's like a little angle piece that comes out of the top of the fuel pumps, and that gets some vibration and cracks. And that's the, actually the dangerous one. When that happens, fuel can come out of the top of the pump, leak all over the side of the car, and the fuel tank's like right there. Yeah, you can see the headers are right below where the fuel is, so bad things happen when that happens. You yeah. don't you don't want that. That's why Ferraris burn to the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's when you get cut to this scene right here. So there is a I don't know, seven or eight. About seven or eight of these hex heads on the sides. They're three mil, although supposedly some of these might be torques because they've been swapped out. Those ones are always replaced at some point because they just well, they get uh, rusty and stuff. The hex head ones get stripped because yeah. they rust in there and then people strip them out, taking them out. So you can actually buy the torques ones from Recambi. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Since we're going to be playing with uh, gasoline and don't want to die, we're going to disconnect the battery, which is right here. There we go. All right, yeah, the light went off. No battery power. Good. Just remember, don't shut that unless your emergency pull release is uh, still working, because otherwise you can't pop the trunk. Yeah, one of these guys got stripped, so let's see if we can get it out with a uh, with the drill. All right, so we're gonna use a reverse outfit. Don't forget your eye protection. See, because we're gonna <laughs> Dremel. Instant flathead. Yep. <laughs> Custom. Custom flathead. I can I've hear had it. to do this on six or seven of these screws in here. So you gotta pop that little clip off. Yeah, she's pretty dirty. It looks like it has leaked in the past too. Yeah, there's some stuff gathered around it. This car's got two fuel tanks, one on each side. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I guess we just spin that off and undo the lines? Yeah, I think so. It looks like it just yeah, unscrew and undo the connectors and the line and then pull, pull it out. Yep. Pretty easy, okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. This is the do not smoke, do not cause static electricity. You want a rag so I can stick under there because it's yeah. going to leak some fuel on yeah. it. Kind of compression fitting type thing. You just press it on both sides. And it should pop off. Push it forward and let off and pull it back, I think is what happens. All right. Got a little gas in my mouth. <laughs> I heard it spray. I was like, nothing oh. like the taste of uh, 93 mm. octane in the morning. <laughs> All right, this harness has got a little safety yeah. thing on it. Let's see a little clip. Let's push down on it, I think, and pull it out. Okay. Got it? Yep. Nice. And theoretically, it should just spin off. We should spin this off. If this is original, though, it's not going to be easy. No. Oh, that worked. Yeah, it wasn't oh. actually that bad. That was pretty easy. Thank God it's got those like ridges on it. Yeah, I've done a lot of these, not in a Ferrari, but hit them off that way and they're on there so good you end up breaking this ring and you got to replace the damn ring too. Ah. It's a pain in the ass. I'm wondering, how does it get in and out without bending the shit out of it? That's a great question. <laughs> I was just 
<laughs> uh, it's not popping off because it's so, been on there so long. I think we gotta remove that whole panel. Oh, easy peasy. Sweet. Which has about 20 bolts on it. But, I'm concerned uh, about the ones that are like yeah, way in the you back. You can't see. <laughs> so the trick's gonna be because we can't, you can't like just slide it straight up because there's a big metal chunk of the frame right above it. See, so that kind of makes it difficult to get the pump in and out. Come on out, puppy. Meet your makers. <laughs> How the hell is that gonna come out? All right, so we're pulling off the uh, insulation because uh, I think there's a little more room. <laughs> it's got these little clips you just pop off with the screwdriver. Yeah, a little bit more room now. I don't know. It's like, ah, uh, that totally came off. No, it's just hanging all by the wires. Yeah, I should be able to get it out then. The problem is this frame piece right here doesn't give us enough clearance to actually get the pumps in or out. So what we believe we're doing going to do is take off all these screws around this top of the fuel tank piece so we can slide it over. Then it should clear this hopefully. So let's see if the theory, if our theory is correct. Oh, look at that. I think you gotta put it at an angle. Tilt it towards, oh, yeah. Come on. Didn't like the sound of that. Yeah, plasticky snap sound. Careful, it's got fuel everywhere. Yeah. Sweet. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> is there a gasket on that? Uh, yes, but we can, looks like we can reuse it. Yeah? Nice. Looks like, yeah, because it's still pretty, it's not flattened. It's still got a nice little... A little squish? Squish to it. All right. So we got the right hand fuel pump with the new gasket. And again, the gasket is part number 170946. And the pump is part number 239814 for the right hand side. Ooh. Ah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> That's a good idea. I just put it right in right now sort of, well it's gonna pop out anyway because it's spring-loaded. Like a glove. A little bit easier. Insert here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's definitely the way to do it. 100%. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure you don't smash any wires or hoses and stuff. There are quite a few. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in It's there. a rat's nest down there. I'm ready for you, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Just play a notch in the tank or something? Yeah. Okay. I had to rotate it clockwise, so I think you had to rot rotate it counterclockwise. I was like, this isn't going in. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? That would be why. That would be why. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's like it was designed for that. I would, I would give you shit, except for I know I'd do the same thing. Made in Czech Republic. Really? Yeah. Interesting. There it goes. Specs are very good at making uh, molded carbon fiber. Shit. Really? Huh. I would not have yeah, assumed. The, uh, does that whole rubber gasket have to compress inside there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I have a feeling that it's not going to be fun. I just feel like it's going to roll if it doesn't go in perfectly straight. According to the state of California, this job may cause cancer and reproductive harm. <laughs> Do not attempt this if you're pregnant. <laughs> so the left side has the float switch, fuel level indicator, you know, full, not full. So we're gonna have to get this on that. Going from the top down might be pretty hard. If so, we might have to pop this off and then slide it up the bottom. All right, I lied, it came on pretty easy over the top. We're gonna, oh. that last bolt. It's just a terrible- Always the last one. <laughs> yeah, I know, we should have done that one first, right? My hand is cramping up. Uh, <laughs> such an awkward angle. Part 239813 is the left hand side with the sender and then of course gasket 170946 which is up there okay Look this at is going to be interesting because yeah you gotta go around that this can't might actually have to come off right there yeah very very careful yeah, there, there it is got it straight up Boop. look at that Yay. like a grip mm. exciting okay we're going to definitely right need to put some some kind of lube on there Realign the gasket just right. It looks like this gasket for some reason is stretched slightly. So we're gonna have to like clamp it down on one side and then push the gasket into place and then clamp it down on the other side. All right, just stick it in the, stick it in the slot, I guess, not the hole. <laughs> uh, popped out in the rear as he pushed it in the front. Down to the last two bolts on there. 
got all the bolts tightened over here and then of course we gotta tighten down the little ring on the on the pumps reconnect everything and put on the panels and it's done victory victory yay it hasn't started yet well okay good, <laughs> good point good point partial victory all right well we gotta put these on now things are total pain in the ass it's spring loaded so you gotta get make sure this doesn't roll like that you don't yeah. want that to happen yeah you don't want it to roll up yeah you have to hold this those springs are uh, okay, I'm gonna just take a break. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a pain in the ass. Since we don't have the proper tool, we're gonna use a mallet and a screwdriver. That wasn't bad. Victorious! On one side. <laughs> now we got the other. Connect the hoses. And the oh yeah, hoses and sender. Yeah, the fuel line and the... You wanna make sure you put this safety thing back in, that way it doesn't come out. Yeah, yeah. Accidentally. Well, uh, that's not supposed to be like that. There's your problem! So that ring was not going on. And we tried, I don't know, it's been about two hours, I'm thinking, that we've been working on this. And so we thought, you know what, we're just going to try and beat it on. Yeah, I, I thought I had it going on there straight. It, and it, it looked like it, yeah. Not and then it busted. Not. Well, I guess this car's not driving today. Shit. All right, well, we're going to have to pause for now. So we're going to push the 360 out into the... Street yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, fun. There you go. Now straight, straight, straight. Turn maybe to the right. Oh well. Do you really trust Meg driving in and out? That's her side. Sorry, No, we should go back. A two. All right, YouTube. We are back with the fixed part or well, the the replacement part pump ring nut, which is part number one eight one six eight two. My advice, honestly, replace them. They're cheap. They're only like 20 something dollars. And considering how easily we snapped ours and how fragile, like the old one just feels kind of janky. This one feels really nice and tight. So I'd say just replace those or at least buy one as a spare sin since we broke ours pretty easily and weren't really trying that hard to break it and it just snapped. We're just gonna work on the car out there because it's actually not ridiculously hot for once in Texas. By the way, did you know that this 360 is for sale? That's right, he saw it for like 65 grand or so. If you're interested in buying it, Get in touch with me, I'll get in touch with Josh. That's a pretty damn good price. How many miles? 27,000 miles, but and it's, it's 2001, right? One, it's all up to date on service. There you go, 65 grand. All right, we're back to this familiar position. Yeah. We connected up that line, because uh, when we turned the key, we didn't want the pumps to spray shit everywhere. All right, so we're gonna try putting some lube on the gasket. Still glide. Still glide. Ooh. So we think the problem was that maybe the fuel pump wasn't quite sitting all the way down, pushing back on the ring, which caused the ring to keep, keep popping off the threads and then eventually just cracked. Ooh, I saw it go all the way yeah. down. All right, where's the new ring? That's the wrong side. It's not the right one. What? How is it not the right one? It's too big. Okay, we've run into another snag. And this is why ordering parts for Ferraris is sometimes just a ridiculous nightmare. So we've got Daniel Pass from Recambi on the phone. We've talked to him. And even he's like, what? So nothing's making sense. So let me show you. This is the old ring, right, that broke. And if you notice, it fits snugly. Yeah, yeah. So it fits snugly on the pump, right? Just like it should. It holds the pump down. So it holds the pump down. This is the new ring, which is the same part number, okay? Same part number. Yoink. Goes right past. What? And, and so even Daniel Pass on the phone, who, who is the owner of Recambi, is like, wait, what? He's like, how, how is this possible? And so he is at his shop in North Carolina, and he did the same thing, and he's like, this makes no sense. So, oh, hold on, it's Daniel Pass. No, they don't melt, but damn, what the, what the hell? Here is our very, very, very ghetto solution for the moment. Because we literally cannot find this ring. It does not exist anywhere in the world, apparently. So we super glued it, which seems to be holding reasonably well. And then we put a piece of bailing wire around the ring and tighten the crap out of it with pliers. I have no idea if that's actually gonna work, but we'll give it a shot, why not? Oh yeah, we decided to 
double reinforce it with two pieces of bailing wire. But we may have a lead on one, on a new one, but we're, we're, we're working it. We're working the phones. All right, our jerry-rigged piece is gonna be put to the test. Watch out for the sharp parts. Yeah. Let's not have an ER visit. God, doesn't even want to get started. Shit, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. The bailing wire get you? Yeah. You warned me. Not going well. Not going well. It's the best I can. I took that hose off that was in our way. Oh, good. So that makes it a lot hopefully more. a lot easier. <clears throat> Please. What's going on? Yeah. Do you want me to go get a hammer and stuff? It's going on sideways though. Is it? Yeah, but that's that's okay. At least it got started and the pump is all the way down. Yeah. I can back it off and try it again. One of the little nuts or bolts on there is not all the way down. Seriously? Yeah. Did it's I miss one? Yeah. Ways again. Still going on sideways? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's what it is. This <coughs> plug is getting under it. God damn it. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. It's <laughs> going on. Sort of. Uh, yeah. It's on. It's on? Yeah. I'm scared to hit it right there. That's I was where say, it's glued. Uh, Let me see how I have much to tap it in from the other side. Yeah. I'm going to call that good. Holy crap. <laughs> Get out! That is super janky. Oh, yeah. So it's in and basically ready to go. We're not going to put the panels back on because we're going to have to be putting on a new ring anyway since we don't really want our ghetto solution to be the permanent solution. This is just a limp him home solution. I know everyone's probably like cringing right now. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys did that for Calm down. Calm down. This is temporary. It's okay. All right, sometimes you just do what you got to do. This is very much the startup mentality, all right? Throw shit against the wall, something sticks, ship it, all right? Ah. Ship it. Live by those words. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna watch to make sure no fuel goes spraying. So far, so far. All right, well, that was like the most disastrous fuel pump change out ever. I apologize, it didn't go according to plan, but that's kind of how cars are. They generally don't always go according to plan, so be ready for stupid crap to happen and just kind of roll with the punches and deal with it. I know everyone's like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys are driving that thing with billing wire and blah, 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 and super glue. Hey man, he's getting home. We're gonna find the part. His car's no longer in my driveway and it's a good thing. So hopefully you guys at least saw and learned a little bit from our mistakes or I don't even know if it was mistakes, it's just misfortunes, I guess. And if you guys are gonna work on these 360 or 430, it's basically the same pump and both these cars obviously there is a different ring nut for the older ones versus the newer ones so we believe his has the older design that is used on the challenge cars it's no longer a part that's supported so that's what we ran into the problem is that stupid ring nut doesn't exist it's like a ghost we can't find it anywhere on the internet so we're gonna try and find one and if we do i'll probably post a follow-up or something let you guys know where we found it in case one of you does need that part this was a challenge this was a challenge and a test of our patience. And of course, then it rained and just ah, everything, man. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe by clicking the button in the corner. Hit the thumbs up, share this video. We're gonna be doing a lot of car stuff. We got some more DIY stuff coming your way, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.